talk of the town here with Rob Franklin, uh, manager of planning services for the town of Coburg. And we are learning about today the history of the Coburg Harbor. So Rob, how are you today? Very good, thanks Graham. Now, we are just coming off the Canada Day long weekend, which is a kickstart of summer for many people. And uh, the Coburg Harbor is a great space where a lot of citizens and tourists spend their summers. And I understand, however, our harbor and waterfront uh, did not always look that way. And uh, can you tell me a little, little bit about uh, the history of uh, the Coburg Harbor? Sure, Graham. Uh, uh, the Coburg Harbor has gone through a, a actually a significant change in the last 30 to 40 years. It used to be very industrialized, sort of the, the, the west part of the harbor. Obviously, Victoria Park and Beach uh, in a different form has, has been there for some time. But the main harbor basin and the west harbor area was very industrialized. It's gone through a number of changes uh, with active companies. Bird and Archer, Diversity Water Technologies was there for many decades along as well with a number of uh, railway and shipping concerns, uh, including very massive petroleum uh, tank farms that basically took the whole property from uh, more or less south of Albert Street right to the waterfront. Uh, it was very industrialized, very dirty industry. So back in the mid-1800s, was there room at the waterfront for leisure activities and entertainment like there is today? Well, actually, it was, a, it was a little different then. The, uh, Coburg Harbor was, was actually somewhat blessed in that we had uh, a, a tourism business all the way back to the mid-1800s, uh, immediately east of our harbor, aka, as we know it today, Victoria Beach and Victoria Park. This was bordered by a number of hotels. In fact, most of the northern piece of Victoria Park was a hotel and the grounds of that hotel is what we enjoy today as Victoria Beach. Uh, certainly the, those massive trees uh, back towards the band shell, that's where all of the uh, people would come and promenade back in the late 1800s. There was a dance hall, the pavilion, uh, a massive water slide, I understand, made in wood that was uh, in existence up until I think about the Second World War that uh, uh, people have memory of still today, that those kinds of leisure and recreation activities were, were there. What we didn't have is an inner harbor that was accessible to the public. It was all industry. There was a very small uh, uh, recreational boat activity and only in the 20th century did that really start to happen, the mid 20th century forward. Uh, prior to that, it was a commercial uh, harbor. There was large uh, uh, freighters going in and out. Actually, up until the uh, late 70s, there was ocean-going freighters still coming into Coburg Harbor to service uh, the Cable and Wire Company and Bird and Archer when it was still located down on the waterfront, that they brought in heavy uh, goods uh, by boat as well as uh, uh, restocked on coal and uh, shipped out iron ore. In fact, that was one of the massive uh, uh, companies that had specifically was an iron ore dock that the train cars would come right down into Coburg Harbor uh, and dump right into the, uh, into the shipping containers and then off they would go across uh, to the United States. So, wow, it looks totally different now. Yeah, actually it's been quite a change since about the mid-1980s forward through a public participation process through a rezoning, a secondary plan, and major reconstruction, we've gone through a, a massive change where we now have walking trails, uh, a bunch of different condominium developments have taken place, uh, the institutional use of the Legion Village have all taken the place of where those industrial tank farms used to be, and the continue, uh, uh, Coburg Harbor continues to grow and change with expansion plans both to the condominiums and the recreational activities still planned. Well, thank you, Rob, for talking to us today. Thanks, Graham. I'm Graham. We are here at the Coburg Marina. Talk of the town.